Hello everyone, welcome back to our Maya 2020 tutorial series. This is UV mapping on our construction dude. Um, so this is part two. Uh, we already got the head done. We're gonna go ahead and keep on moving down the body. Um, let's go ahead and start to work on the, the chest and arms area. So I'm gonna go to face mode and I'm gonna select off the chunks that I want. So let's first do, um, we're gonna do and what we'll need to have on symmetry while we're doing this. So let's turn that actually X. There we go. All right. So I want there to be this section here. I don't want the arms to be part of this. So I'm just going to deselect this part here. And we'll deselect this and this. And then I'll just inverse select all those bits here that I don't want. Um, also, don't want the sleeve. And let's. I think that might be okay. Okay, let's make sure that down here we have what we want. We want down here, but we don't want the belt. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so we have all the bits we want there, and it looks like we need a little bit more of the neck. We want this part here, but we don't need this part here because that's already been mapped. Okay, so that's good. Um, so now we can go to UV, and you guessed it, camera based. Um, okay, so there it is. That's our new island we're going to be working with. And we need to put a, a seam on this guy. So let's put the seam on the back side here. I'm just going to put it right down the back here. And I don't want the seam to run into my head, so I'm going to make sure I inverse select right here. Now, I don't really care so much about over here because this is all going to be handled eventually later on. So if it's running down the legs, it doesn't matter. Um, but I don't want it coming up here in the front, so I want to make sure this is also inverse selected. So let's go ahead and deselect this section right here and just going down all the way down to the belt. Okay, so that should be good. Let's see here, the back side's done. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and add a cut. So we're gonna go to um, modify and, I'm sorry, not modify, cut and sew and cut. Or we can do shift X, that's the hotkey for, cut, for cutting. I want you guys to get used to hotkeys. Pretty soon, I'm going to start just using hotkeys exclusively, and you'll stop seeing me going to these menu sets. I just wanted you guys to see where the tools were. Okay, so UV shell mode, select the, the body. I'll hit Control U, and we'll see if where the issues are, if there are any. Okay, so this one's good. Uh, we can check out the textile density, see if there's any real stretching we need to worry about. Um, we do have these rings left up here we'll have to deal with, but let's go ahead and check out textile density first. Okay, so obviously this is huge, so we need to scale this down so we can get a better idea. Um, typically, you don't want to give more texture to the body than you do the face, since usually you want the face to look pretty good. Um, but even is all right. So you can see in the neck area, we're getting more texture up in the top as we will on the bottom. And there's going to be inherently a little bit of stretching. It's not going to be perfect UVs, but you want to get it pretty close. Um, this isn't too bad, actually. I don't think that's worth adding more cuts to adjust the edge flow on it. Um, yeah, I think that this is actually probably pretty good. There's a little bit of stretching going on right in here, but I think that that's okay as well, and it's not too terrible. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at those extra sleeve bits that didn't attach in. Uh, so let's turn off textile density for now. We're gonna go to edge mode, and let's just double click the inside edge here and see if it's just a problem of it being cut loose. Um, so let's go to move and sew. Okay, so those automatically popped back in, so that was good. Um, we want to double click on each one of these guys here, which it got both sides, that's good. Um, but we don't want the arm bits, um, which looks like it doesn't have over here. I'm just going to deselect this entire section just to make sure that nothing jumps. Okay, so then we're just left with these bits here, which should move in as well. So I'm going to go to move and sew, and that brings these guys in. Okay, we're going to go to UV shell mode, select the UV shell, hit Control U, that will unfold it. Okay, so that's unfolded, and let's just check the around the edges here, make sure there's nothing that's not sewn, like some chunks that are sticking out. Um, looks okay. All right, I think that's okay. Okay, so I think that I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and scale this down a little bit more, and let's take a look at text density again. Okay, so text density wise, looks like it needs to come down a, a bit more it down to about right there. There's more texture on the head significantly than the body. Might need to bring this down a smidge more for the head. 
just to accommodate all the extra bits we're going to try fitting in here. So let's go ahead and just bring this down a little. Okay, that's probably good. Um, body, that's probably good as well. Let me just scale it down a little bit more. Let's put it up here at the top, actually. Okay, that's probably okay. Okay, moving on, let's take care of the arms. Now, before I jump in here, I do want to just point out, some of you may be thinking to yourselves, like, these created UV islands, won't these work? Um, yes, they will work as UVs, um, but you will end up with all kinds of little issues where um, there's artifacts where all the seams are um, as you're texturing, and sometimes they don't pop up, and sometimes it's not a problem, but sometimes you'll find one that pops up and it's just resilient and will not go away, and the reason why is because it's just got too many islands. Um, and sometimes you'll, they'll just be, I mean, there's a whole host of issues that can kind of come up if your UVs aren't laid out appropriately, but can you attach texture to these guys over here without doing what we're currently doing? Yes, you can. It just won't be as pretty as what it will be if you do it properly. Okay, so I got faces on both sides of the arms. So I'm going to do this at the same time. That way I don't have to do double duty on laying out the UVs for the arms. So I go to UV and camera based again. Um, puts them over here. They're separate islands. That's perfect. Um, let's go and take a look at where the issues are. Um, first, we're going to have a seam, and typically the seam we want to have is on the back of the elbow. So let's go to edge mode. And let's add our, that seam in now. Um, let's just have it be right there. And if we're careful, we might be able to get away with adding to going around the hands as well. Um, sometimes I see like you know that like they'll have a seam that goes around the wrist which is something we want we do want this to be separated um, so i'll add an edge that's going around where the wrist is at but not right where i put it that was not a good spot let's go up one loop right here um but i've seen it to where like you know the fingers will all be separated and splayed out and that sometimes has issues um, i tend to get better results when i kind of just split it down the middle and make it to where each side of the hand is separated Let's see here, actually, rather than trying to um, jigsaw my way down to the spot where I want it, I'm just going to see if I can, nope, oh, that was one too high. Let's go up to here. There we go. Let's drop tackle again, see if it's making it hard for me to see. Okay. All right, so I need to be down on this one. So let's just, I guess that's forcing me to do the whole jigsaw thing. All right. Went around, went around, went around. That's good. Okay, so that's all good. I don't want it up past this side though, so I'm going to inverse select this part. Just kind of go in here and just inverse select all this. Because I don't want seams on both sides of the arms. Okay, and also don't want seams going across the chest, so I'll just inverse select the entire chest shell, which will get rid of all the edges running across it. Okay, so that's good. And then I do, let's go, I accidentally deselected right here. Um, I'll just manually select it since it caused a little bit of an issue with going a little too fast, it seems. That's it. Let's go to Shift X. That will add a seam in here. I'll go to UV shell mode. Select each, select them like this. Hit Control U. That will unfold both of them at the same time. Okay, move them over here. Select one hand. Hit Control U. That's good. Those look good. Select the other sides. Hit Control U. Same thing. Those look good. Um, let's see if there's any stretching here that I might need to fix. Um, probably not, but it's a possibility. Um, looks like I might have. A little bit of an issue with that. No, maybe not. Okay, let's uh, check textile density. Okay, so don't see a lot of stretching, so that's good. Let's select all four of these guys and just scale them down to where they're. Oh, okay being stubborn about this one center loop for some reason. I think I'll just scale these guys down since it's 
for some reason having issues on just doing that one. Okay, so these ones are roughly the same size as the ones on the body, so that's good. Um, hands, I want those both to be just got both sides at the same time. Um, I want them to have a little bit more textured pixel density than the, the arms, just because it tends to be when you want to texture the hands, you know, running out of room. So let's just leave it at about right here. That's probably good. Okay, so I'm going to take these guys. I'm just going to stack all of them. Let's turn off mirroring because I just want to move both of them at the same time. Um, I'm going to stack all the hands just on one side. Okay, the arms. Let's go ahead and move them to the right here. Okay, so that's good. Looks like we have a little bit more time on our video, so I'm gonna keep on going. We have the arms and body done, and we have the whole head done, so that's good. Um, let's go ahead and we'll do the the belt. That's that'll be unique. Let's go ahead and we'll deselect this entire section here. Deselect all the stuff we've already mapped, and then we'll do. A, another camera based projection. Okay, that's good. Um, let's go ahead and add an edge on the back where it will unfold, which should be right here. Double click and then inverse select this entire area on the shell we've already done. And then I'll just press Shift X, that will add a cut in there. So Shift X there. Okay, and then I'll go to UV shell mode, go ahead and click on it and hit control U. Oops, I think that I actually did shift X uh, with it going around the front, which got the buckle as well, which I don't want that to actually be done. I want to handle that one myself. So deselect that edge. Okay, now I can go ahead and add the cut. So shift X, go to UV shell, hit control U. Um, also, it's worth mentioning just for those new UV mappers that if you're mouse is not in the UV editor window and you hit shift X then it if it's over here it won't cut also if you go to unfold and your mouse is over here if I hit control U it won't unfold you have to have your mouse in the window that has the UV editor for those hotkeys to work properly also you notice that over here there's no UV shell mode while over here there is a UV shell mode so the, each window is optimized for what you're working in okay um, there we go and Let's zoom in a bit. Uh, get the pixel density right before I go and cut out the bits I want. Um, so that's that should be good right there. Um, I'm gonna cut out the centerpiece of this guy. So let's go to edge mode. Um, let's just double click this outer edge here. I'll hit Shift X. Go to UV shell mode, click the middle part, and hit Control U. All right, and maybe I'll add some side edge cuts on it just so that it makes it flare out appropriately and give me the right shift X and not get any stretching there. There we go. So now it's all back to cube, so that looks better on the inside. Okay, unfold this one again as well. Okay, so that looks all right. Um, there is a little bit of issues with how this comes over the top here. Um, I might want to just actually, let's just add a cut right in here. And we'll take, take off the belt buckle and just make it to where it's its own thing. That way we don't end up with any issues. With stretching or possible projection bleeding or any of that kind of stuff. So shift X over here, UV shell mode. Oh, I must have missed one. Let's go to edge mode on this side then. And we'll just click on the edge that I missed, which is that one and these two over here. And I'll hit shift X. Oh, I still missed one. That one right there. Shift X, UV shell, command U or control U, depends if you're on a Mac or a PC. I'm on PC, so it's Control-U for me. Okay, see if there's anything under here I need to 
take care of. Should be all right. Oh, okay. Click on this one in UV shell mode, hit control U as well. Okay, so that relaxes those sides and that side. Looks like I might have missed a little chunk here though because you can see how it just stops right there. Let's see if that's the case. Let's zip around the other side here. Okay, it looks like that might be some inner geometry that needs to be fixed possibly. But it's still be seen together. Go to move and sew. Aha, that's where it belongs. All right, I'll just cut it off this one. So shift X, put it on this side as well. I think it is. I'll get rid of that as well. Shift X. And I'll just go to edge mode, select this bit here. That's here as well. Go to move and sew. And just do the same thing on this side. Moving so, and I can go ahead and relax both sides. Okay, so that's good. Okay. And let's just take this buckle here and we'll hide it um, right in there is probably good. And we'll take this inner piece and I'll just hide it inside the arm socket part. And that's probably good. Okay, so that's good. Arms are done. Um, you know, we still have four minutes before the, the 20 minute mark. So let's just keep on going. We can maybe even get this whole guy finished mapped in the second lesson. And then we can just move on to the specialty pieces in our next lesson. So I'm gonna go ahead and forge forward. Um, Let's go ahead and we'll start up by just selecting below the waist here. Um, actually, no, we'll do, let's just count the shorts. It stops the knee pads. That's where we want it to stop it. That's where our seam will be. Oh, but I don't have symmetry on. Turn symmetry back on, there we go. And we'll inverse select this section. Oops, clicked a little too much. There we go. Same thing over here. Let's turn off pixel density. You don't need that on right now. Uh, okay, oops, triple clicked. Uh, there we go. Oh, all right, we'll just do a marquee box there. There we go. All right, so we'll make this into a wing UV minus these sections over here. So we'll inverse select this part. There we go. And then we'll go to UV and camera based. UV shell mode and take this part here off. Okay, so where do I want my seam at? I want to put a seam right in the middle here in the crotch area. And then I'll have one more seam, let's say right here. We'll hit Shift X. UV shell mode, we'll do an unfold, see what it looks like. Okay. And let's take a look at our textile density, see if there's any stretching. So I'll scale this down a bit. So size wise, that matches the belt, so that's good. Let's go ahead and move this over here and let's see if there's any stretching. Um, looks fairly even, not too bad. Okay, we'll leave that as is and we'll just place it off density mode. Also turn off mirroring for now. Just want to adjust these guys a little bit so I can fit this guy in here. There we go. That's doing pretty good. All right, moving on. Let's go ahead and we're going to do um, all the way down everything but the feet this time. So we're just going to select all the way down to here and we'll deselect the feet. Oh, that's right. We got to have symmetry on. There we go. And we'll deselect the pant legs. We'll just go ahead and inverse select over here in the UV editor here. Okay. So then we're just left with this section. So we're going to go to UV and camera based. 
and we'll go into edge mode and I'm going to add a cut going down the back so that should be good let's inverse select over here on the UV islands we've already done and then I'll hit shift X right now that'll add a seam going to the back side here and I can go to UV shell mode click on them and hit control U that will unfold them Okay, let's check out the text density on them. Scale them both down. Let's see, make sure they match. We're about right there. It's probably good. Let's take a look. It's a little bit of differences from the front to the back. Right here is larger. And you get more a little bit on the back here, but I think that it'll probably be okay. Let's also go to off. Pretty sure that will be just fine. Um, don't really want to add another seam. I could uh, finesse this back a little bit if I wanted to make it to where there's a little bit more textile density on the front side. Um, but as it is right now, I think that we're probably okay. Um, if it does become an issue in the future during the texturing uh, playlist I'm gonna make in the future, um, I'll include a section on how to push the UVs back, which might be something we'll end up doing on one of the other there are other models or on one of the other accessories as we're moving along in the later lessons. Okay, so let's see here. Mm, let's put it up actually right over here. Well, let's clip it over apparently. That's. There we go. That's better. Okay. Last thing is going to be the feet. We'll get that one taken care of. We're going to select all the faces here. We'll deselect the sections we've already done. We're going to add a seam going around. Oops. Oh, we need an object to actually turn back on. There we go. We want there to be a seam. Right around base of the foot so all right let's start by mapping the first again add the seams first not thinking right okay so faces are all selected for the feet we'll go to UV and camera based and then we'll go to edge mode deselect the sections of the or select the sections of the, the edge mode on these shoes that we want to cut off so I don't want the bottom part on here on here so I'm also going to cut that part off I'm going to cut off this section. So that's good. I'm going to get rid of this section. And I'm going to put a seam down the middle here. Which I don't need it on the, this part. But I don't want it on these guys. I'm just going to inverse select my my islands on this side okay so that should should be good let's go ahead and add a cut or add the cut in so shift x um, let's unfold the feet first i'll hit control u okay so i don't see a stretching so the top part of the feet's good let's go ahead and just scale that down where it matches. So something that right there is good. Move these ones in. Let's turn off symmetry. So I can organize these islands. Okay, um, bottoms of the feet, let's just select both those at the same time, hit control U. Okay, so that's all right. Mild stretching as it goes around the top, that's normal. Okay, so then we can go ahead and bring these ones over. We'll scale them to match the foot density. <laughs> so something about right there is probably good. I'll just nestle them down here at the bottom so that way they're all 
mugged in tight. That's good. All right, last ones are, let's just select all four of them at the same time. Hit Control U. All right, that's good. These ones up here are pretty close to the size they already need to be. Let's go ahead and just move them over. That's fine. And let's uh, place them both right here. Good. Let's take these two, and these ones need to be smaller. Let's bring them down so they're getting some even density. And then that right there, that's good. Okay, and we'll place them down the bottom here as well. There we go. All right, so with that, we're actually done with the UV mapping of the body, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and save, save scene. Also delete the history. Um, we can also move this all back to this one by one area. But it does, there might be something we're missing though because you can see how it's got this part here lit up. Let's just make sure there's no like hidden geometry in here. So see there's some missing bits. All right, so that light up. So when you see the, this text density thing here lighting up, it's telling you there's solar UVs inside here. Let's see if these ones up here belong to. Um, where are they at? Are they on the inside here? I don't see them. There must just be some. Oh, I see, they're part of the scene sleeves okay so that's good to know we'll go ahead and take care of this so let's go to edge mode see where they go to um, let's just sew them both into their spots over here let's go to move and sew and then where's the other one over here We don't want it under this one, so under that one. So we're gonna go to move and sew again. There we go. All right, so now it's in its spots. Yes, now we are actually done. So caught everything. Um, looks like this one might be over the line a little bit. There we go. All right, so we're going to again save and again delete history. Okay, so in the next lesson, we're going to start working on the accessories. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next lesson.